morning, Percy woke up. All the other engines were fast asleep, but not Percy. Bother, he says. Where's my driver? Sleeping, grunted Gordon. But that means I'll be late, said Percy. The coaches will be waiting and the passengers will be cross. Rubbish, huffed Henry. Anyway, it's still too early, said James. You just want to show off. No, I don't, said Percy. Don't worry, Percy, said Thomas. It won't be long before driver will be here. And then you'll be able to go to the platform and pick up the coaches. But do take care, said Thomas. Because Duke is not here to save you. Do 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 Duke, scoffed Toby. You mean our hero? The very same, said Thomas. This is a story about him. Listen. When Peter Sam was still called Stuart and the handle Falcon, they both came to work with Duke on Duke's line. Stuart was okay. But Falcon still had a lot to learn. One day the manager came to see him. Falcon, said the manager, I am pleased with your work. Now you must learn a difficult part. We call it... The Mountain Road. Falcon was excited. So tomorrow, continued the manager, you will go on it. And Duke will explain everything. Falcon wasn't happy. Duke's an old fusspot, he thought. The next morning, Duke spoke to Falcon. Listen, warned Duke, the mountain road is very steep. I'll lead. No, said Falcon crossly, I'll lead. How can I see the track with you blocking the view? Suit yourself, said Duke, but never mind the view, look at the track. Soon, the engine set off for the mountain road. Look at the track, said Duke, never mind the view. Fuck pot, fuck pot, said Falcon. Foddy doddy, foddy doddy, foddy doddy. The train grew slower and slower. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, urged Falcon. No hurry, no hurry, said Duke. Soon they approached the tunnel. Falcon didn't like the tunnel. It was curved, and he couldn't see. I want to get out, I want to get out, he urged. All the while, everything was safe. Then suddenly... Falcon was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Duke held on with all his strength. Stop shaking, he called. I can't hold you if you shake. The workmen quickly attached strong ropes to make sure the engines were safe again. Then came more trouble. Water! shouted Duke's driver. Duke needs water, quickly! Luckily, there was a workman's cottage nearby. Duke's thirst was quenched. All the while... Then, with all his puff, he managed to pull Falcon back onto the rails. Then they set off once more.
The manager was waiting at the top station. He apologised for the accident. Your duke, said the passengers, is a hero. He stood as firm like a bulldog and wouldn't let go. Falcon also thanked Duke as well. Thank you for saving me, he said. I don't know why you bothered after I've been so rude. Ah, said Duke, you just had a new coat of paint. It would have been a pity if you'd rolled down the mountain and spoiled it.